Hey guys, uh, Cher from Cher Made Crochet back for another video. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is staying safe, excuse me, safe and warm. Um, I know the, uh, it's going to be cold for the next few days. So, um, like super cold, colder than usual cold. Um, so I hope everyone is staying bundled up and warm. Um, today's video, I wanted to show you some finished objects that I had, um, uh, from the last couple of weeks. It's a lot more than I realized, actually. Um, so yeah, let's get started on that. So the first one I made is a, um, so for my one a day project, I had leftover, um, Lion brand comfy cotton yarn, uh, the whipped cream color. Um, I had like half a ball left. Uh, so I decided to make a knotted headband. I still used a five millimeter crochet hook for it. Um, and it's just half double crochets in the back loop only. Uh, all the way around. And then you do some fancy, um, <laughs> what's it called? Uh, sewing and you get the knot up at the top here. Um, and I really like this look. So, uh, that's what I, that's what I made with the extra. There were no more, there was no more yarn left over after, uh, this project here. Uh, the next several, uh, items are seven by nine inch sections. Some of them were completed more recently than others. Uh, so some of them have their ends woven in and some of them don't, but here we go. These are done. These four that I'm going to show you first are done with a six millimeter crochet hook. Uh, and then this one and this one were done with Lion Brand Heartland yarn. And these two here, same hook, six millimeter. Um, but this is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. I'm pretty sure that this colorway is discontinued. So I think it's like iced violet or something like that. So there's that. So then uh, I pulled out some yarn, some stash yarn that I had, um, that I had for so long. And I actually, it's the reason why I don't like uh, multicolored yarn, um, because I've had it for like over five years and it's beautiful yarn and it's super soft, except I just couldn't find a good pattern that I could use all of the yarn that I purchased up. So I just decided to make more, um, sections for, um, out of this and for, this one I used a five millimeter crochet hook, I want to say. Here we are. I think I made 10 of these. Um, I pulled all this yarn out and I had a mountain of yarn. One, two, and uh, instead of crocheting my one a day for that day, I actually just crocheted all of these. Some more here. I still have, I think, five more skeins of yarn. Um, I believe that this is Premier Serenity Garden, and I think it's called like Mountain Heather or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I don't have the ball bands to any of them because I've tried for so long to use this yarn in several projects and I just failed miserably because I wasn't happy with the end result. So I don't have any more uh, tags for them. Um, it's very pretty and it's very soft and I believe the yarn is like a microfiber acrylic yarn. So it's really, really lovely yarn. Um, so yeah, I think the only thing I need to do with these is to, um, weave in the ends. So I'll probably do that, 
after I'm done with my one a day strips. Um, anywho, the next finished object is a knitted hat. And this is Lion Brand Heartland Yarn, but I don't remember the name of the colorway. Okay. Um, <laughs> I used a four millimeter crochet hook or a 4.5 millimeter crochet, not crochet hook, knitting needle, a 16 inch circumference. And I did a two by two ribbing for four inches then I just knitted and knitted and knitted until I believe that this technically should have equaled about nine inches. Might have been a little shorter. Uh, and then I started decreasing. So there are my decreases. And yeah, I'm really liking this. I really love the simplicity of a knitted hat. So um, there's that. The next two hats that I have, I I believe the designer is CJ Designs. Um, I think the pattern is called the Maple Leaf Hat. Uh, I used an eight millimeter pair of knitting needles with the 16 inch circumference. Uh, so here it is. Um, it's uh, a double layered hat. So it's the same on both sides. And basically you just knit one stitch in a extra long tube uh, until you get to a certain length. And then uh, you fold it in half. You take off the uh, stitches at the, you take a, a, a yarn needle and you take off the stitches, you don't bind off or anything like that. Just take the stitches uh, and then you fold, you cinch it, I believe you fold it in half. Um, she gives you all the instructions that you need to, but it's all one stitch. And then uh, through some finagling you, and folding in halves and stuff like that, you get an extra thick double layered hat. Um, the yarn that I used for this one, um, I think it's like, it's a new yarn from Joann's. It's, I think it's like knit and crochet or K&C yarn. Uh, and it's a, I think it's classified as a bulky. It's kind of like a thin bulky. Um, and the designer has you use a worsted weight yarn and I didn't take that into consideration. In fact, I don't think I trusted the designer at all which was my own fault, but this hat is a little bit too big for my husband. So I'm gonna have to think of something else to use it with, or use it for. Um, but it is a really nice looking hat. I really like it. Uh, I just need to practice a little bit more with my hats, basically. Yeah, there is this hat and then I made a second one with Lion Brand Homespun Yarn and I believe this is the colorway Purple Haze. Uh, there it is at the top and then here is the inside which is just another double layer. Same needle and all that jazz. Um, See, I have a little bit of the same problem with this hat, but my son can wear this hat. So I think it'll be okay. It just feels like it's a hat that'll blow with the wind if, uh, if I leave it on too long. So uh, for me, it's too big, but for my son, it's just perfect. So he'll probably be wearing this for a little while. Um, and both yarns took up a whole skein of yarn. Um, that's all I needed was one. Um, so then my final project is a pineapple lace scarf um, that I thought of when um, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet was 
kind of announcing the items that she would be accepting for her um, charity drive, I guess, for her uh, the, the Wings organization that she uh, donates to. Uh, she mentioned that they were wanting shawls again, but they wanted young lady styles. So in my mind, that mostly equated to uh, lacy garments or lacy um, projects. So I chose a pineapple scarf. Uh, it's a free pattern on your inspirations. Here it is. Um, I think I used a three millimeter crochet hook for this. I actually don't remember anymore. And the yarn that I used is Red Heart Croquet. And I used four balls of this, and I probably could have gotten away with three uh, because this is over seven feet long. And um, I more or less followed the instructions of the uh, lace scarf pattern, but um, the the pattern has you do more of these repeats. Um, so they the in the original pattern they have you chain two hundred and ninety three, or two hundred and ninety some odd, uh, which is a lot to be chaining up and then uh, crocheting uh, these repeats like five or six times rather than what I did, which is like a hundred times. Um, they give you the stitch count, so it was pretty easy for me to adjust it. Um, I think this colorway is called Fairy Dust. Um, and I wonder, looks like you can see a little bit of the sparkle. It looks very, very delicate and very, very feminine. Um, so I really like this uh, pattern, but I don't think I'll make this pattern ever again because I, I'm not a big scarf fan because I don't like, um, I don't like doing short repeats like this, um, but I just thought that this would look better with the short repeats, so I toughed it out for this one time. Um, but I don't think I'll do it again <laughs> anytime soon anyway. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. Uh, I have, I did a lot more than I realized. <laughs> um, it's amazing how much you realize you can do once you, um, <laughs> once you start documenting it. Um, trying to think of if there's anything else that I wanted to say, but I don't think there is. So, until next time, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye!